this video I'm going to go over how to manage widgets on your website. So to get to your widgets manager here, you click appearance on the left hand sidebar and then we're going to click widgets. You can see that Flatsum has five distinct widget areas that we can have throughout our site. We have a general sidebar, we have footer number one and number two, then we have a couple specialized sidebars for your shops for your products here. So this is a nice place to globally edit all your sidebars and put the content you want in them. However, you don't really get a live preview and some people really do enjoy that. So you can see there's a button up here, manage with live preview. It's gonna bring us into the site customizer here. And I'm not seeing anything right here just because I don't have any widgets on this page. So I'm gonna to navigate to a page that has a widget on it here. Put a shop sidebar on this page here so you can see it popped right up and click into it. You can see I don't have anything in there right now. But I can hit add a widget. There's all the widgets we have available to us. So since this is a shop sidebar, I'm going to add a cart here. You can see here in a couple seconds, it'll show the cart uh, personalized for the person viewing the page. So you can see I have two wing products in the cart totaling $160. So I can hit view cart. I can check out right here, which will take you to the standard checkout page. So this is a nice place. Some people might miss this little cart button up here. So we can have a big cart item right in the sidebar whenever they're in the shop. So that's an example of one widget here. I'm not gonna add too many just not to clutter it up, but you can see there's a lot of widgets we can add here, not just for shop items, but also we can put in active product filters. We can put in archives. So if this is for a blog, we can show blog archives. Maybe we wanna show an audio player. Say this is a multimedia website and we wanna show a featured song or a featured item. Put a calendar, maybe if you're focusing on booking things or maybe showing um, where posts are you can see there's a lot more rich options down here. You can even just put in some text if you really want to. So once we have a widget configured, we can hit publish. We can back out of the site editor here. Now that widget is live. So the way you can configure the size of the widget, you can see that that took up the full site width. Um, that's just like handling a column um, because widgets just appear inside of a column. Um, in fact, I'll quick show you how to add widgets to a page here. So I had that widget on the test page, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit it with the UX Builder. You can see here's my widget. And what I added was just a widget area here. So the way you add that is you just add an object, search for widget, and there it is, widget area. So once you have it up, then you can select what kind of widget area it is. So I'm gonna select the shop sidebar. You can see that I now have two shop sidebars in my page. I'm just gonna delete the second one here. And now we can change the width of this shop sidebar here just by dragging this little blue blue diagonal uh, little hash line here that changes the width of the column. Once we're happy with the way everything looks, I can hit update. I can back out. I can view the page. You can see now that everything's a little bit, a little bit smaller on this page here once I get to it. You can see that now it's about the appropriate side for, uh, for a sidebar. So that's how to edit and configure widgets and how to add them to your pages and make sure they look right on your pages. If you have any questions about widgets or anything else, feel free to let us know. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you.